I'm going to show you how to rotate this cube in a single line of code. So I have this cube here. It's just default material. I also have a script added to it called spin. Let's go ahead and open it up. In our script, it's completely blank. Now, when we're spinning an object, we're rotating it. Well, rotation is part of transform. Transform is the rotate and the position and the scale and all of that. So we're going to do transform, lowercase t, because it's the transform properties of the game object this script is on. Transform dot rotate with a capital R. Now, this function takes a vector three. So we're going to say we're going to spin it zero in the x. We're going to spin it one in the y, we're going to spin it zero in the z, and then we're going to spin it in relation to itself. So that means that the one degree that we're spinning it to is the one degree that it moves, not the one degree in the world space. So space.self, that's what we want here. So technically, if we save here, this does work. If we hit play, we can see that the cube absolutely spins out of control and it kind of speeds up and slows down and isn't super consistent with how fast it's spinning. So let's make this the professional way. Come back into my code and I'm going to take this, the, the axis that we're actually spinning around, I'm going to change it to go times time dot delta time. Now time dot delta time is the actual number of seconds between each frame that is rendered. Meaning that if you have a computer that's rendering lots of frames a second or a computer that's not rendering very many frames a second, this time dot delta time is going to normalize the speed at which it spins. My computer spun that cube super fast, but if you open that up on a 2010 MacBook, it probably wouldn't spin very fast. Now, I know from experience that one is too slow, so we're gonna change it to 10 so that we can actually see something happen on our screen. Now, let's take a look. Now, when we hit play, we can see that the cube rotates, but it's rotating in at a speed in a manner that is visual and is consistent. It doesn't slow down or speed up, but we are rotating the cube. You wanna speed it up? Well, change this number. Put 100F in there. Make it a variable that changes with a slider. Make it anything you want, but now you know how to rotate a cube super quickly in Unity.